Hey, hi everyone. Welcome to our first meeting of the year 2023. And I'm excited to have everybody back and see your lovely faces, even though I'm not seeing your faces. But yeah, welcome to our first meeting. And I'm going to drop the meeting minutes on the chat so you can write your name and tell us where you spent your Christmas holiday. You don't know what I'm writing here. Where did you spend Christmas? Is that correct? Okay. Um, so I spent my Christmas right this I, I was at home throughout. I didn't go anywhere. Lagos was busy. There was traffic and Uber and boat fees were like very expensive. So just stayed at home. So you didn't go for all the events, Lagos. I, so. <laughs> I tried going for so, but I think I went for two. It was just like a normal festival. And then like the whole traffic in Lagos was just too much. And I was like, no, no, no. I can't, I can't make this my life. So I, I decided not to go for any other one again. Oh, so yeah, so hi Daniel. Um Adiran. Hi, you don't guess it. Hi, no blessing. Please tell us why you spent Christmas. I'm not the only one that spent that. If you if you don't celebrate Christmas as well, you can. Tell us what you did during the holidays. Um, same. What do you say, um, Kinsley? <laughs> okay. Um, who is typing my stuff? Okay, so I, I, so I, I yeah, I. I added that brother's mind to the program. No, quite. That's cool. Um, so you went home to see family. Yeah. Kiss my mind. Kiss my family. Sorry. Okay, you went back. You went to Gabon. That's cool. Nice. Okay, just seeing people writing their names, nobody's saying anything, but that's fine. Um, so we have a very short um agenda, and yeah, like we don't have it though. Today is, we are still I'm still in the I'm still starting the year basically. I'm still in love. <laughs> so uh, uh, we have a very short agenda. I just I just wanted this um you know, this call to just, you know, connect with everybody and you know how everybody is doing. And yeah, what to expect. So putting that, thank you very much. See, I came unprepared. Uh, but yeah, um, so I just, this meeting is going to be like, let's just catch up with each other. Feel free to unmute your mic and say something. Um, it's a new year, so I don't want to spend it talking alone. So yeah, so feel free to, you know, let us know how your holiday was. Um, okay, Moses, Moses. So, Moses, are you based in Port Harcourt or Lagos? Are you based in? Um, I'm based in Port Harcourt. Oh, great. Uh, um, okay, you joined recently because I was in Port Harcourt um, in November ish, and we had like a get together for all the people in Port Harcourt. I'm so sorry that we didn't get to do it in Lagos. Lagos is too expensive. Uh, but uh, that was a joke. But yeah, um, nice to meet you, Moses, and welcome to like welcome to all the new well, I see a lot of new um people here. Would you like to introduce yourself? Um, maybe we we'll start with Moses. Let us know, just tell us where you're joining us from, what you do, and maybe how what you want to contribute how you want to participate in chaos maybe that should be the last question so we know how to help so so Moses do you want to get us started um sorry can you repeat the question I stepped away from yes. it um, no worries sure um so just quick introduction because like we we have a couple of newcomers here Moses I see Moses don't get it Daniel 
So we just want to get to know you and you know what you do, where you're based in, and maybe how how we can help you to chaos or to open source. So those are the questions. Okay. okay. Um so um Moses, my name is Moses Obupina. I'm based in Port Harcourt and I'm a front-end developer. So um as I'm, I'm a new member, I joined them some, I think a week ago. So the purpose of me joining was to get started with open source contributions. So I'm hoping that this community will be able to help in, help in that. Yeah, that's awesome. Welcome, Moses. Um, yes, we really would be able to help. We do have like an, Moses. We do have like an ongoing website project. So um, we we I, I I think I'll add you to the dev channel and I know I know the people in that dev channel they are still in the they are still doing their holiday they are not back yet. Um. So but, but yeah, I, I, I um activities will resume soon and. Yes, thank you for joining us. We're yeah, happy to have you here. Um, Daniel, do you want to introduce yourself? Uh, okay, good evening, everyone. Um, I'm Daniel Ladidina by name. So I'm a student of Law Tech from Ogumosho. So and, um, I'm a bioinformatician, I would say. Uh, me too, I've been learning Linux and our programming language. So and I'm interested in contributing to open source projects in any way. Thank you for having me here. Awesome. Nice R. Like, I think I really see people that write R. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. Nice to. Um, yeah, and thank you for joining us. I know we have like some shell, like some projects that are um, with shell scripts. Maybe you can also participate there. And I'm guessing um, you. You are also open to learning Python. Yes, um, yes, sure. Because yeah. we have Python, we have more Python projects um, in chaos, but we are open to bringing anything R as well, or starting anything R. So um, definitely welcome. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, thank you so much. Um, Martin, have you? I don't know, do you want to introduce yourself? Good afternoon. Yeah, like a quick intro where you're based in, what you do, and how we can help. Okay, my name is Martin Zutia. Currently, I'm learning UI UX at Student. We had you one time on um, where you had to tell us, uh, or rather educate us on take. So that's, that was where I get to know about you and you invited us to your open source. So I joined open source. I don't know what it really means, but I want to learn. I want to get knowledge on how to work through open source and my tech journey. I also wanted to be a smooth ride with everyone. Yeah, that's cool. Um, I think you joined a long time ago. That I, I did that session in October, or was it was it even was it September? Also, um, yeah, I know I remember I that. It was in September. Um, I'm really impressed with that. We are we are so happy that you're able to join um a meeting, and that's that's really lovely. Um, I didn't get what you do. Okay, I'm currently learning you are UX design. Okay, design. Ah, also, design is like the most active group in this space. So yeah, we are you are in same fans. Don't worry, in same fans. Very active. <laughs> okay, so um, uh, I know Kinsey. I'm taking note of that. I'll be jumping one slide person. So um, yeah, and well, definitely it's going to be different this year for you. Um, and thank you for joining our meeting. Let me see. Um, you don't guess it. Uh, I don't know here. I don't, yeah, I don't think um, I've met you before. Do you want to introduce yourself? Okay. 
If you're trying to speak, we can't hear you. You're muted if you're trying to say something. Okay, you can also use the chat to um, sound well. Um, or you don't miss it. Okay. Okay. Are... Yeah. Sorry, I didn't know you were talking to me. Good afternoon. Ah. Okay, go ahead. Sorry. Um. Okay. My my name is Don Sisanwo. Um. I'm a biochemistry student currently in my final year actually. So um, I I'm learning. Okay. I'm okay, I'm kind of learning Android development, native Android. Mm -hmm. Based Kotlin. Based on Kotlin using the Kotlin language, and I think I joined Open Source. That was January. I think I after I messaged you on Twitter, I DM'd you on Twitter, and then you directed me to contact Kios, and I was I got added. And awesome. my purpose being here, I think I want to, I want to more like contribute to the program and also learn as well, because I think it allows me to learn a lot of things that I won't be able to learn on my own, and also meet new people and contribute to technologies as well. Thank you so much. I think I remember you now. Um, thank you for joining too. Um, what school are you in currently? Like, where, where do you school? Um, okay, currently I'm in New York, at the University of New York. Okay, awesome. That's, that's great. Well, mainly, yeah. I think I'm, I'm mainly based in Port Harcourt, outside the Wallace. Okay. okay, great. Um, welcome, don't guess it. Um, Abasi. I'm not, I'm not going to spoil it, so I'll just I'll just go with Abasi. Abasi <laughs> Ferekewem. <laughs> yeah, can you introduce yourself, please? Um, I thought you were trying to do you are muted if you're trying to. Hi, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Yeah, I was I was struggling with the mute button though. But yeah, um I'm it, it's sad that my name is recorded, but I'll take it. <laughs> 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 my name is Abasi Frekuman and um yeah, I was actually referred to uh, this group, this meeting by a friend that is also actually here in attendance. Yeah, so awesome. yeah, I joined. I joined. I think earlier this week. So, um, I am. I'm learning. I'm. I'm learning to become a DevOps engineer. So I've, I already have. I already have a, a cloud knowledge, and um, <clears throat> yeah, I'm, I'm. I'm still learning. That's that's all I have to say. Also, I would I would also love to it'll be introduced just so I kind of like in terms of a good understanding. I would love to you know contribute to open source. So that's what it yeah, welcome. That's awesome. Um DevOps, yeah. We I, I know there are some projects. Um we have bots here that um there's some bots um for some projects that you can also flex your DevOps skills and in the coming weeks so would we'll have like there's a dev channel as well. So this meeting is just very going to be very informal. We're not going to talk too much. Um, just get to know people. And we have a lot of newcomers here. And I'm so excited. We have like 17 people on the call, which has not happened in a long time. But yeah. Um, so I see John Shukukar. Do you want to see hi and let us know where you're joining from and what you do? Hi, everybody. Um, good afternoon. Good day. Um, I'm calling from Benin City and I'm a product designer. I'm always excited when product has joined. Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. I said I'm always excited when product designer has joined. Oh, but yeah, I'm glad. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Um. So um. Thank. Uh, let me see if I'm missing out anybody. Hmm. Let's see. I think uh, that's all the new persons we have. And uh, I omit the. I think that name is familiar. 
think Job you've been here. I think Martin's two year hasn't hasn't joined the meeting before now. Martin said, is it another Martin? Martin has said something, we're not listening. <laughs> <laughs> Martin's has said something, but yeah. Um, so welcome back, everybody. Welcome to all. Uh, okay. Um, Daniel, please go ahead. I'm so sorry. How did I miss you? Sorry, go ahead. Um, good afternoon. <clears throat> mm. Yo, um, I'm a Python developer and a music composer. So I I write, I write in Python, Django, and I'm happy to join the the group. Uh, this is my first this is my first time doing um open source, and I think I can contribute to the either the Ogo or Grimo Grimo Labs. Grimo Lab, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. It's nice. To, I also write Python, so nice to meet you. And I'm somebody that does something that I do. Yeah, I I, I saw you at oh, um the face Legos. Awesome, that's cool. So bad with faces. I don't remember at all or something. So yeah, thank you for joining us. And I verse we do have like there are training sessions or let's see workshops that go on about um uh, over. And I also hope to help you with Grimoire Lab very soon, very very soon. So welcome, Daniel. Um, okay, I think that's everyone. Um, welcome to our newcomers and all the other people that have been here with us. Thank you so much. Um, so quick brief of what you do at Chaos Africa. The person that puts this here, do you want to say it? <laughs> Regressing, where is the one that puts it? The yeah, it was just go Take take the floor. Well, I I didn't put the agenda I there, so okay. Let me not put you on the spots. Um. Okay. So, especially for the new persons that joined us, we don't always like this. This meeting is not always chit chat. <laughs> But today is the like first meeting of the year. So that's why we and and I really love the fact that we're able to connect with each other. It's really helpful as well. Um but so what we do at so Chaos Africa is a chapter so of of a bigger project, right? And for you to understand what the bigger project is, you have our website, Chaos community so this is the, the main website and then is frustrating me Oops. okay so this is the main website so this is the bigger community and chaos africa is like a chapter for the bigger project and at chaos um generally we so chaos is an acronym so i'm just going to do a very short intro of like oh an overview of what chaos is and because there's an onboarding call that is specifically for um discussing things about chaos and i'm going to show you how you can attend that call or add that call to your calendar um it's coming up it happens every first to first wednesday of the month but this month we didn't have any because like we we took a break we've been on a break since I think um, throughout December, we're on a break, you know, just to give everybody time to connect to themselves. And we came back, um, we came back this week. So we yeah. meetings this week. Um, so um, yeah, so we have been on a break. So the next one is going to be next month, um, the first week of February. So. I'll show you how to add it to your calendar so you get reminded of that meeting, like the onboarding proper. But I'll just do an, a quick overview. So chaos stands, chaos is an acronym, um, community health analytics, open source software. Um, so 
especially for people that are kind of new to open source, you might ask the question like, what is the need to track health or why, what's what concerns health and open source software? So health in this sense, in software terms is, um, what we do is, you know, when, when software, when you have software, you need, or when you have people around software, you need to take care of them just the way you take care of your, your health, your body. So software, people, communities need to be taken care of. Like, and for you to take care of those communities, you need metrics um, for you to make decisions, for you to know how to improve a community or a, an open source software. You need to know specific metrics that you can track and things you can improve on. So in the chaos group, in chaos projects, we create metrics. We help open source communities, other open source communities, and even our own community, right? We help create those metrics um, that people can use to measure health. Um, you know, if they are doing well, things they need to improve. And we do that through working groups and software. So we have specific software that also measures health and we also have metrics like working groups those working groups they they kind of like um they they um work on those metrics so the softwares we have is augur and grimo lab um that are built with python yeah they're built with basically built with python but the working groups, there are about five of them, you know, different working groups. And each of these working groups, they create metrics that open source communities, like these are the working groups, um, would help define health. And we also have, um, you know, chapters, uh, like the Chaos Africa chapter, and also the Chaos Asia, there's the Asia Pacific. We have two chapters, Chaos Asia Pacific and Chaos Africa. So um, these are like the... The main things we do at Chaos, we also have initiatives um, like the badging or the badging organization, DI badging. So you'd, you'd hear about that a lot of times, um, DI badging. So one resource I would really um, encourage everybody to look at is this handbook. So over the last year, we spent a lot of time kind of like migrating the handbook to the website. So you can check out this handbook to know more about what we do before you join that onboarding meeting. So I'm just going to drop a link to this chat. So this is like a handbook of everything chaos. Like So you can also go through it during your free time as well. Um, then I said I was going to help folks kind of like, so we have a calendar, right? And this calendar because there, there are so many times that people miss meetings because um, they are not reminded of it they don't check slack so you can you can um, add some specific meetings to your calendar and get reminders you add it to your google calendar and kind of like get reminded of them so for example um, i said we usually have onboarding uh, meetings every first wednesday of the month right so if you go to so it happens, it will happen next month. So if you go to February, um, so February, let's see, first Wednesday, when is the first Wednesday? Um, so the first of February. So if you check this now, um, where is it? Yeah, welcome to chaos. That's the title of the onboarding meeting. So if you click here, you can click copy to your calendar right and if you click copy to your calendar it automatically copies so try to do this on your on your laptop it's better so so it just copies it to your calendar right i'm sorry i'm saying it's frustrating um but yeah it just basically copies it and just save it, it copies it to your calendar you save it and you get reminded of it so you don't have to miss it and I also encourage that you also add uh, weekly meetings. Uh, by weekly, this meeting happens twice. Uh, once, what am I saying? Oh my God. Um, it happens once every two weeks. Um, it happens once every two weeks. So you can just add Chaos Africa community call as well to your calendar. Just copy it to your calendar. So you get reminded of it. Um, those are the two important meetings. The, 
so you can add those ones to your calendar right um so those are the main major things about chaos so i'll just save the deep or deep dive for the onboarding call so i don't prolong this meeting so much but i hope that was that was helpful to people that just joined in recently was that helpful if you do does anyone have any question that you want to ask about what i just shared especially for our newcomers is any other person having issues with mtn because they're frustrating me Get the five G. <laughs> You're not going to get anything. <laughs> oh, you can purchase Starlink. I I don't I don't know about that Starlink. I think I would even try Fiber One instead. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. MTN has been very shitty lately, so <clears throat> I think almost everyone is experiencing that. Yeah. Does anybody like for the newcomers? Do you have any questions? Any that I need to explain to you before, at least before the the onboarding call? Yeah, um, sorry, I want to ask. Um, the working groups, like, are we expected to be in all of them, or how how do how do you work? No, please, not all of them. If you want to be in all of them, okay, but you can just look at the, there are like five of them. Like for me, I'm, I'm in two, right? So you can just look at the five of them. Let me go back to that page again. So you can just look at them and, you know, look at the ones that really, I think, I guess that's Daniel, um, that really um, speak to you. Like maybe if you're a, a software person, you want to look at app ecosystem. Um, like you can just look at like any of them that applies to the context of where you fit in, right? There's app ecosystem that kind of like talks about building um an open source project from like the start to the finish, right? What you need for like the metrics you need to focus on. There's the OSPO working group that um, kind of talks about uh, the metrics. So what OSPO means is Open Source Program Office. Um, these are sections of organizations that are like that are carved out for open source specific um, really, um, open source related programs. So these people they meet together and kind of like define what metrics OSPOs they need. This is for RICS um, about compliance and RICS metrics. Like when um for my software, what are what are the uh, metrics that I need to measure um, legal compliance and RICS? So if you're interested in that, you want to join that evolution. I think this one talks about uh, I think the life cycle of a project, right? So what are the metrics I need to measure for the life cycle of a project? There's diversity, equity, and inclusion, which I think everybody here can relate to being from like an underrepresented background. Like what are those uh, metrics that you know that are necessary for to center DEI in open source projects and communities? Common metrics is like a is like is I think this more generic, like fits into everything. So it's just for you to pick what's which of them you feel like you want to be part of. And, you know, they have different meeting times, as you can see, like each of those working groups that you can join their meetings, um, can join the meetings. And you can also find these different meetings on the calendar as well. So just search for common metrics and you see the meeting time, you can add it to your calendar. So you can just pick any one. Pick one or two. I'd 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 would recommend you start with one because that way you're able to contribute quality to one at least understand what's going on. Um. Yeah. So did did I answer the question? Yes. Thank you. Awesome. Great. Um. So 
Okay. For those of us um, whose programming language is not captured in development, can we do? Yeah, sure. You can join other groups and participate. And even though it's not captured, there, you know, the, the beauty of open source is. signal it to me or something so so definitely you can also participate in other projects okay for designers for designers we have so there's the chaos africa i don't think i did talk about the different focus groups we have in chaos africa so we have um, so in chaos africa like like i said chaos africa is like the chapter we what we kind of did to kind of help us help people contribute was you know have we have like five focus groups um i think design there's one for designers there's one for developers technical writers what's the other one researchers i think and community managers yeah so there are like about five of them so what people do in those different focus groups is find ways that they can help the chaos projects with their skill set so for you um john that you can you can just check if you're on the slack you can check hashtag chaos africa look for that channel dash designers and then you see the group and you can join the group and i'm sure kinsey has like a lot planned for this year for designers and they're they're currently working on the website so yeah i'm sure there's there's a lot that's going to go on there did i answer your question john Okay, great. So, is there any like for that question that um the newcomers or even people that have been here? Any question? Hi, Miriam. I'm not sure you've joined the meeting before. Do you want to say hi and introduce yourself? Hi. This is my first time of joining, actually. Okay, great. Um, so the introduction is what you do. Where you're joining us from? And, Okay, my name is Miriam. I'm joining from Ilori. Okay. And I'm new to open source. Okay, there was a time I joined a meeting, like trying to we create a for Hogger. Hogger, oh, yeah. There was a recording session. I emailed you, I mailed you for the, you know, there was they said there was going to be a recording session and to be sent for those that attended the meeting. Oh, yeah. I need to find that for you. Yeah, sir. And I would I try to find like because normally when they when the sessions are recorded, the person that recorded they have to like upload it on the YouTube for it to get access to it. So I'm going to try to find that. I think that was um was it during it was like the it was the sprint, I think, I guess. Yeah. Um, so I'll try to find that for you. Um, okay. Can you the organization also? Sir, what did you see? Miriam, did you say something? Okay. Um. So, John, let me show you how to add it to the calendar again. So, if you go to, I pasted the link earlier. I'm going to paste it again. If you go to, if you come to the um, website and then you click on calendar here, it takes you to the calendar page and see, for example, you want to, you want to add like this particular meeting because it happens, this one happens bi-weekly, right? So you want to add it to your calendar. Let's see what's add to your calendar. So just, click on the next one so it doesn't add the previous one so you click this is it and this time is only showing in central time this is not west african time um so you click on it if you click on it you see copy to calendar 
then when you go to your calendar. It's taking some time to load because I'm saying. So you click when you before you save, you click here to repeat. Um, you click custom to repeat every two weeks because this meeting happens twice, like uh, once in two weeks. So just don't forget because if you just click save, I think it's just that particular meeting you add to your calendar. So just click every two weeks and then you click done and then you click save, right? So it's, um, it repeats every two weeks to your calendar. So did that help? I want to save this because I already have it. Okay, great. Thank you. So awesome. Um, is there any other question before we move to the last agenda item? Okay, delight here. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. And that, uh, um, when you click the calendar, add to your calendar, I noticed I was trying to update my calendar because the old meeting time was not valid anymore. So I noticed that is when you click add to your calendar, in that edition session, you still have that central time, that's um, Chicago time. But when I now saved it, okay, at first I tried changing the time frame to West African time. But when I now saved it, it goes to West African time. But I later found out that um, saving it directly, even though it's showing Chicago time, your calendar would just update automatically to West African time and give you the time. Yeah, yeah it will automatically update it because like, Especially when you set your, um, if your Gmail is set to your time zone, it will always auto. Because I didn't use my name. So yeah, it's always just. Somebody is not muted. For my Hey, your mother is. Um. Okay. So. Yeah, so that's that's about adding meetings to your calendar. So the next agenda item, which I think is the last one, is what to expect in 2023. So I, f I feel this, so for this particular topic, I want to kind of like throw the question back, like what do we want to expect? Like what, what do we want in 2023? Because I really there are a lot of ideas I have in my head. But um I really want to also know what, what are the things that because I know some people, for some people, um, they're just getting started in open source. Some people are, you know, they've they've done some, they are some, they are, they have some form of experience, you know. And then what do you want for us to do in the African ecosystem? Because I feel it's not like what you're, what you're doing here is not just something in-house. We also want to effect change. We also want to make change um, in our communities, in our separate communities. So I think I'd ask everybody um, what's, what we want to, what do we want to happen in 2023. Sorry. And then I'm going to type in everything everybody says. So but anybody can start. You can raise your hand and thank you so much, Ruth. I think um maybe I'll just make a comment or two then over to a couple. I don't know perhaps because we have a lot of new persons joining in. So some persons don't want to talk. Okay. Um let me also especially welcome like the designers that joined. Um and of course everyone to once again welcome to this Africa. And um I, I think uh, for me um I'll just be speaking from the design perspective based um 
maybe I think it all starts with um, what our individual expectations are um, trying to contribute to a project like Chaos Africa. So um, I, I would say this um, because I don't know, maybe some persons kind of have some personal expectations and then um, they expect, maybe their expectations doesn't really align with the project or something and, and then they leave or stuff. Well, maybe I would just expect that um, we become more inclusive as um, as a community. To trip, please. So, okay, we become more inclusive that um, um, being able to conveniently onboard people and people contribute to the project and understand more about Chaos Project. And um, most importantly, move beyond um, since we are big on diversity and inclusion. So I think we should also look towards impacting, like influencing other communities in the open source ecosystem in Africa, you know, setting the pace actually, um, because um, there's actually a whole lot when it comes to, I think contributing as regards the skill is not the challenge, but um, how to contribute to is actually a major problem for me personally, like I've seen, so a very skilled individual join a community and everything just looks so you know overwhelming sometimes and information overload and a whole lot that happens. So how we can within Chaos Africa, you know, define you know some metrics that perhaps other um, open source communities could learn from, you know, and all that. And I also expect that we have more of. Um, this educative Twitter space, you know, to tell a lot of persons what open source is not actually. So what open source is not and um, and the right way to contribute to projects. Um, emphasis just be on the fact that open source is more like your home. I, I wouldn't just come to like um, tell you, oh, you haven't met your bed day or you haven't sweat and all. So, People always use this old notion of these settings where maybe in your company you use Asana, Jira, or any of those projects when then to. And of course, you expect that to really play out. Yeah, we still assign tax to people in open source, but then the I think your journey in open source really starts when you start seeing loopholes you can fill in the in the project not necessarily or not always what people assign to you to work on what the maintainer have to work on but i think your journey really starts when you say okay um these are the things i feel like we can solve in chaos africa these are the things we can do to improve the project and these are the things i feel like if we do is also going to help impact other open source community so, um, kind of like um, I have maybe some very specific um, expectations as we get the design space. So I'll share with the designers when we have a call. But I think overall, that's kind of like my my feedback. Oh, you're right, saying, Rose. Yeah, and let me know if if I didn't add anything or I misunderstood something. Please, you can also edit it. That's I really love all the points you made. Um. I definitely agree to that. That especially, you know, when you talked about dressing, um, talking about like what open source is not. Um, a lot of times people there's always like misconceptions with open source. You know, it's just let me since I'm just starting my tech journey, let me just do it. Um, and then when I'm done, I'm over with open source. You know, there are there are those kind of misconceptions. You know, open source is. Is a long term thing, you know, giving people, helping people also make quality contributions. Uh, I, I really love that part. And helping people, helping other open source communities to defining metrics. But that defining metrics is something I'm going to talk about, like what I expect was in 2023. And I'm going to bring and like, I'm going to also discuss that with everyone. So, yeah, thank you so much, Kinsley, for all this insight. So, um, who wants to go next? What do you expect us to do in Chaos Africa? It doesn't really matter if you're just coming. If it's for us to do a mini 
how to get started session <laughs> no problem like like what do you because i i know some people in fact i think i planned this particular meeting to be to be like a session on how to make quality contributions in open source but i kind of skipped and i forgot to prepare that slide so i think maybe in the next meeting i'm going to do something like a webinar on how people can contribute quality contributions to open source so if anything what do you want us to do this year just does anybody want to go next well um for me i think um my plans or why i plan on doing this year because i'm more of an introvert so i plan on um networking a lot and contributing and also um collaborating with other designers and developers too so i think that's one of like that's what i've set aside to do this yeah uh i think that's okay right to say yeah that, that's okay so um maybe you say next maybe in the context of chaos what do you want chaos africa to do this year what do you think we can like and and moving towards our own networking i feel we can also do trainings like or sessions for people to learn how to you know network with their fellow tech people I, I i'm definitely sure that would be helpful to people to get to know right because a lot of people can be introverts and regardless of you being an introvert you can also make networks so yeah maybe you want to add something else about what you want us what do you think chaos africa can do well for now i haven't thought about that of what I want Kiosk Africa to do, but I think I just said that from my own from my own side, right? Maybe at times goes and I might also like contribute or say something about that too. Yeah, awesome. That's yeah, something. Think... Don't worry, John. You're in a safe place. Um, I'm an introvert too, so <laughs> okay. <laughs> Initially, I was saying hi. Hi, Merry Blessings. So sorry. Happy New Year. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so um, maybe let me just say something to, um, I think we have, Bruce, I think it's kind of cool we have more like new persons in the school. Yeah, yeah. I, we, and which is really exciting for, I think, yeah, very blessing. You want to say something or you want to say hi to me and stay? Yeah, I want to say hi to you. <laughs> Um, maybe I could just give an idea to share, maybe to the new guys. You know, um, okay, when uh, Ruth talks about what's your expectation or what we should expect, I, I think it all starts. Um, it just it all starts with uh, uh, maybe there are actually some stuff, or maybe you had some personal struggle. For example, I had some personal struggles before I could eventually contribute or understand what. Um, open source is right so if you had any personal struggle and maybe eventually you are care and something maybe some expectations will be maybe to just get rid of the struggle so that maybe some new persons right they'll probably be joining the community probably wouldn't even have to face this so maybe you can you can still share some personal issues or challenges you have maybe then we can now maybe build the metrics around that to solve in that problem so I think it also goes to show maybe to maybe address that issue. So as a new person, I feel maybe you can still share something, maybe a notion you about had about the principles. And you are here today. I think it's a good thing. So I don't know if that makes sense to anyone. So over to you, Bruce. Okay, um, I think Martin, you asked the question. So you're you've been here already, like you're already making, um, you know, you're already participating, right? Um, you found the community, which is a very good thing. So, um, first I would recommend that you take your time to and uh, go through. I think I dropped the handbook, um, that you can take a look at and also attend that onboarding session. Basically, there are different ways to contribute. It can be through code, depending on what you do, through code, through documentation, through technical writing design, 
depending on what you do and being part of the project is already one very good step. So it just progresses, right? So I hope that was, I just want to answer that question in the simplest way. So I hope that helps. Um, Miriam, yeah, you can go ahead. Uh, your, what if someone doesn't have an idea on where to start, on how to start, you join the community of like chaos now and the community of open source and you're finding, one is finding it difficult on where to start with and what to do. You know, people that have been talking about designing, they're saying designers, but what if one doesn't have an idea on what to do, how will chaos as a community help one, but someone is an open source enthusiast and you want to join and you believe you can contribute to open source? Okay. Well, um, usually if you say you don't know what to, you say you don't know what to do, like you've seen a lot of things, but you don't know what to do, or is it, um, there's nothing I see myself, like what, what can I do? Cause like there's a difference with, okay, I've seen something, but I don't know which to pick. Is it that or like? Yeah, there was a time I was trying coding cause I needed that. For should I say I did that for to try and do something out uh, for an internship, but you know, being my first in coding, I, the only thing I did then was just to do HTML, you know, just hard and that's the major thing. So getting into Python, you know, and more like I just want to do it, just start getting things done. So I felt I maybe motivation. I don't know. Because it felt so hard, like, so is there any other part of open source without coding? I don't know. Yeah, they're, they're like, I a lot, like, yeah, I, I, I think I get you now. Like, even for chaos, like, I think there are more non-code contributions in chaos than code, right? We have software, yes, but I think a lot of people, like, there are a lot of ways you can contribute without having to write code, right? Um. Aside even design, you know you, you don't do design. There's we have like I'll I'll recommend so so what I'll do because the meeting is almost over. We just have five minutes. What I'll recommend is you join that onboarding call because the, during the onboarding call we really dissect different areas in chaos that you can contribute to, right? So I'd recommend you join that call to see the different areas. Like that, there, there are a lot of them. Like you can be a, you can help us create metrics, participate in metrics. Like those different working groups that I showed, they are all non-code contributions. They do not require code. They just require you um, assessing things like and contributing to them. Like there's documentation, there's writing, there's there's even facilitating the meeting like this, right? There's there's also um. There's also reviewing, reviewing. Um, we have like um, a badging project where you can review badged applications, right? So there are, there are a whole lot of things, there are a whole lot of them. So I'd recommend you join, just mark your calendar for that. So you can also go through that. And we also have it recorded. So in case you're not able to meet up, it's also being recorded, but there are a whole lot of ways that you can, but even without writing code. So I hope that does that help. Yeah, all right. Thank you so much. Yeah, sure. I'll be I look forward to having you with that onboarding call. Probably send a message to when it's happening. Definitely. I'll mark my calendar. Add it to my calendar right now. Awesome. Good. So um just to, we have just three minutes left. Um so I said I was going to see what's a bit of what's you know um is expected or what's what I'm looking forward to. Um in 2023, um, I would highlight this, what Kinsley said here, um, you know, defining metrics that African open source communities can use. Uh, why we have like a lot of ongoing projects currently, which is the badging website, which um, Chaos Africa has been working on since last year and development has already started. It's been really cool. Um, I would also want like, Something I'm looking forward to is having a smaller group of people who are interested in making change in African ecosystem as regards open source come together like a, a, a working group, a metric working group for Chaos Africa, where we think about 
the different ways that we can impact the metrics that we can create for African open source communities to use. So this is more like of a smaller group that would think like, so if you're interested in impacting on like African, and this is something we can also bring to this group, but that group would be more of hands-on. It would be more of like participation. It would be a lot of, a lot of like coming together to analyze the ecosystem here in Africa and kind of thinking different ways how we can analyze the health of those communities. So that's, that's something that I envision for this year. And while we also take on those um projects that we we have we have continued that like we started with and the ones uh we will continue with this year i i'm looking forward to seeing if we can also have like our own website you know um and if anybody has any project that they feel would be helpful to africa like the african ecosystem it could be a resource library anything you can always let me know and i will you know Put that so we can plan towards it. But the major this this thing I highlighted here is what like I'm looking forward to like that um working group that would create metrics for African open source communities. So I'm excited to plan that with everyone. I would maybe give details in the next community meeting. But the next meeting is going to I think we we should have like a webinar, especially for people that joined recently on how to contribute to open source. And you know how to make quality contributions, especially. So, um, just I'll communicate more of this in the group. But yeah, so that's what I envision for twenty twenty three, and it's going to be exciting, definitely. And yeah, so I think we are top of the hour. Thank you, everybody, for joining. Is there is any question before we go? Right? So I don't, I don't just say something and close it off. Um, what I just said, yes, I'll put it on the doctor, but since I was talking, I couldn't type immediately. But yeah, I'll put it on the document. Um, I have to jump into another meeting. Um, but yeah, thank you everybody for joining. Um,